I bought 15 really, really cheap Windows activation keys from places like eBay, Craigslist, AliExpress, and a whole bunch of other websites to see if they actually work. Are they legal or just another scam? And when I say cheap, I mean dirt cheap, like less than 40 bucks. And that is a friggin' bargain considering Windows 10 Home cost $139 and Windows 10 Pro cost $199 bucks. So firstly, I always go out and get a prepaid Visa card whenever I buy from sites like eBay or from some random sites I don't know. This way I never hand over my credit card details and then have to pay close attention to my credit card statement to make sure they don't ring up any more charges. So now that I have my credit card, time to spend some money. Okay, so go into good old Google, type Windows 10 product key, and of course you're gonna get a whole bunch of different vendors offering Windows keys at these ridiculous prices. Click on shopping at the top if you've got that option in your country, and again, the list goes on and on and on. Right, let's find one. Okay, Windows 10 Professional 32-bit. Click on that. Okay, this one takes you to the AliExpress website. It is a Windows 10 Professional for $2.09. Let's scroll down, see what the description says. Oh, check this out. Because we have a problem with PayPal, blah, 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 blah. Basically, they're saying, hey, don't use AliExpress. Rather go to this particular website and buy it there. Okay, I'll buy it. I mean, what could possibly be going wrong with some dodgy website selling it for just under 10 euros? All right, let's buy it from here just for the fun of it. Let's do another one. Okay, so this one, low value, $29.99. This one happens to be on eBay. Let's choose the eBay option, kind of no eBay. Let's add that to cart. Let's do this a bunch more times with a couple of different vendors at a couple of different places at a couple of different price points and see what happens. Well, I did this 15 times for various vendors across various pricing points. And I will say that when I paid for these licenses, in all cases, I did actually receive an email with what looks like Windows keys. And here is where things get super interesting. While I now have a bunch of keys, it's important to realize that not all Microsoft keys are created equal. Microsoft essentially has three types of licensing program. The first one is retail. This is the type of license you get when you buy Windows from Microsoft or from one of their retailers like Best Buy or Micro Center or whoever you have in your country. You own the license, so if you get another computer, you can simply use the same license key on that computer and you don't have to buy another one. The next type is something called OEM. Ever bought a computer and it comes pre-installed with Windows? That is an OEM license and it lives and dies on that computer. You cannot take that license number and simply use it on another machine. And the final type is something called volume. This is for businesses and large organizations where it would be impractical to generate new individual license keys for each computer that they have on their network. This could be hundreds if not thousands of computers. So the business goes and buys something called a multiple activation key and they get one license number that they can install on as many computers as they bought the licenses for. The catch here is that if you're part of that organization and then you leave and they installed Windows on your laptop, you would have to go and buy your own copy of Windows. All right, so some of you have already bought licenses from these online retailers, or you're not maybe sure what kind of license you have. Let me show you a quick way to check what you have right now. Okay, in your Windows, go to the search bar and then simply type this slmgr.vbs space forward slash DLI. It will be in the description and that is your software license manager and it will tell you the kind of license that you have right now. I bought my license directly from Microsoft, so I have a legit retail copy. So that is the critical word to look out for, retail. So next up, let's verify if these 15 licenses are legit or not. All right, here's where it gets fun. On the left-hand side, I've got the keys that I've bought. This is only a sample of them. On the right-hand side, I've got a tool that basically says, hey, does this license key for this particular software program, does it marry up? Is it legit? What kind of version of licensing did you buy with this? So I'm blurring this out because this is my legit Windows key and I wanna make sure that this thing works. And then you can see, yes, it does. It's given me the information and it showed me that it's a retail version. So what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna start going through that list. Let's put each one of them in and uh, let's see what comes up. So first one, copy that paste it into the tool, click on the checkbox, and now, okay, what does it tell us? Okay, so this one is a legit license, but it is a volume license, which basically means that it belongs to that company, I shouldn't be installing this on my computer. 
Okay, one down. Next one. Let's do copy that one and let's paste the next one in. Click on check, repeat the process. And this one is a retail version. Before we get excited, uh-oh, we have a problem because this one is actually educational retail. So mm. cannot use this one either. Next up, let's copy the next one. Copy and paste it in there and do the check. And what are we going to get? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. This is Windows 7. Mm. Another failure. All right, let's do the next one. What else are we going to get? I mean, what else can we be surprised with? Click on check. And this one is... Oh my gosh, this is Vista, I'll give it. I'm not gonna bore you with all 15 licenses, but I can tell you out of the 15, three weren't even in the right format, total scam. Out of the remaining 12, there were a mix of OEM, educational, company volume licensing, and as you saw, there were some Windows 7 and Windows Vista licenses in there. So in other words, if it's too good to be true, well, now, if you want to start paying Microsoft for Office, check out this video right over here and check out this video over here that YouTube thinks you should watch. Hit the head if you like this kind of real world practical tech stuff and I'll see you in this video or this video or I'll see you in both. Let's go.